Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Hitman World of Assassination. Previous episode, game crashed again for the ah, 50th more, time. Want to join us? Ah, huh? I see someone's in a hurry. To Luckily, the recording uh, was not corrupted, so the footage still exists, and now we are going. To do a little setup. Shit. So annoying. So fucking annoying. Oh man, man, man. Sorry. I missed the uh, that guy obscures the line of sight. I'm not sure why. But I must have. Had a little One delay more, I because normally, you join us? Uh, I see someone's in a hurry. If I run, run straight to it, I have a couple of seconds to shoot the uh, camera recorder before that guy walks over there. And if he is there, you can sometimes still shoot the recorder if you aim very precisely just above his. Uh, just above his hands, but you can also very easily miss at that moment. Alright, now I have to wait for these guys, annoying. Anyways, we are doing a kill setup with Sophia Washington, one of the two sisters. That must be Janus's casket. Involving still, no a body. kill switch implanted in the neck of the Constance. And she is... Yeah, by the way, I can also just take this guy's disguise. It's much quicker. Okay. Fuck, now the wrong person's come over, comes over. Alright, screw it, I will just do my old way. Anyways, um, we do need to get into a security room, which can be super tricky, I guess. Unless you get... I was already in that room earlier, but then I was disguised as Drake Nathaniel. The uh, Nathan Drake reference in this game, to, or in this level, super funny uh, guy. I think they hired the same voice actor as Nathan Drake, because he sounds eerily familiar. Um, but anywho... see what that was go go no problem. but what that taking his disguise takes a lot of uh, time uh -huh. at least ah, fuck me so fucking hard man you know what i'm just going to continue screw it i don't see him all right that worked rise and shine this time it's for real Oh shit, I did take him out, right? Apparently not. At least not good enough. Alright, that's the only... Nice thing is that... Alert faces are quite local, often. Here, they're totally fine over here, so screw it. I'm, this is not my uh, silent assassin run anyways. Oh, I don't mind. Very bad. 
bad starts of the episodes. But yeah, sometimes that happens. And I'm now also going everywhere and nowhere. It's really uh, I'm playing really distracted at the moment. Alright, I could. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm gonna take this guy out over here. This is Nathaniel Drake. He will be found now. Let's screw it. Just see, it's, uh, I'm not going silent assassin anyways. This is just messing about with the. Uh hey there, how you doing? With these set up, kill setups, so this allows me to immediately get into that security room. Uh, not here, but hopefully here. Ah, Miss Washington. I forgot to tell you before. Good a day few to of the you, more sir. prominent ARC members were curious as to how three of the top Hyperborean suites were already occupied, considering how the bid hasn't even opened yet. In fact, the same thing appears to have been the case with the core suites at the Stronghold facility. Who is getting first pick, Madam Chairwoman? Ah, yes. Well, some questions are best left unanswered. Don't you agree? Carry on. Ma'am? I really wonder what happens now. Nathan Drake Nathaniel will be found. Ah, good but evening, he, sir. He is a unique person, so. What's up, guys? Zoe come through here? I worry about that burning effigy. All right, we're good. Because this triggers the. Ah, um, here's something, forty-seven. According to this email thread, Sophia Washington has recruited one of the architects in a plan to discredit the Constant. Sounds promising. All right, but I need... Um... I need another disguise. 47. Olivia is trying to locate Mr. Sinclair's cell number. See if we can't contact him directly. Stand by. There, we have Sinclair's number. Making the call now. Keep your eyes peeled, 47. All right, but let's first... <sighs> Get a disguise. Hmm. Oh, there he is! Holy shit! <laughs> Nathan Drake. Uh, why me? Why me? I guess it's just one of those days. All right, but that is a little bit tricky because I'm gonna take out this guy now. <laughs> Cripes. And it could very well be that he will walk out again now. That's no. Sinclair, all right. And those are the blueprints for the poison chip. Should come in handy. Holy shit! This is the actual guy that I need. That was... Uh... This goes pretty quickly. Very messy, but I'm making good progress. Uh, because there was like... Th this is the side story... Um... An email thread between Sophia Washington and her sister Zoe. Apparently, Sophia has recruited one of the architects in a devious plan to discredit the Constance, an engineer by the name of Sinclair. That's the guy that we now took out. Very nice. It could have been any other guy that was uh, distracted by that laptop, I think, but it was the, the right guy. Who, and it was not even my. Uh, because normally you have to walk around the area and. Sophia or um, what's the name of the uh, the handler, the manager of Forty Seven? What's her name again? Diana. Diana is calling him, and then you have to recognize him out of the crowd because he's constantly being called, and then you have to probably take him out. 
but this is uh, yeah this went super easy I, I just wanted to get another disguise because that Nathan Blake disguise was a bit tainted but now that yeah suddenly that the, the right guy came over and I immediately uh, yeah skip forward so to say uh, but anyways, an engineer uh, by the name of Sinclair who designed the poison chip in the Constance neck. According to the email, Sophia has asked Sinclair to approach the Constance and offer to remove the chip. If the Constance takes the bait, Sophia can then prove to the Providence partners that their controller is not to be trusted. She, is also, she also notes that Sinclair was reluctant to participate in the deception and may need additional Coaxing, coaxing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that part. Because we cannot coax him here now anymore. We are that guy now. Uh, but what do we have here? Poison chip blueprint. A design blueprint for a poison chip created by one Merrick Sinclair, chief technical designer at Const. Kronstadt Industries, a next generation suicide pill. The chip is remotely remote triggered and satellite tracked, effectively removing human weakness from the equation. No doubt this is the chip embedded in the constant snack. All right, so I think we now just need to go and talk with the constant. The only thing that we now maybe are foregoing on, missing in this little side story, which could have been cool, is coaxing that Mr. Sinclair into doing it himself. The Arctic's not even all that cold. But yeah, you cannot win them all. Here he is, constant. Nice evening. I suppose. No robe, no mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer, Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Kronstadt Industries. The name rings a bell. Here, I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design, which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. All right, pretty cool. Fine, but fallout, nuclear winter, it all just feels sort of quaint. You want to bomb, do a little research into pandemics. Some of the vulnerabilities should still tell us that crazy story. But how are we now getting close to Sophia, I wonder? How are you this evening, sir? Good evening, sir. Please come in. Have a seat. It's lovely by the fireplace. May I see those blueprints again, please? Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Yes. Hello, sir. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. Right, so it is a way to get close to Sophia. But still, there are quite I am a lot sorry of you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. 
And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. Power without responsibility. Nothing humble about that. Hmm. You have my interest, Mr. Sinclair. I think we'll speak again. For now, you will excuse me. All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. I believe you know Mr. Sinclair. We've met. What of it? <sighs> I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. No. You made a big mistake, Sinclair. This won't be going away. Can't talk, sir. Excuse me, sir. This place is off limits, even to you. Right. Is there any way up there? God damn it. By this kind of annoying that I'm now missing. Potentially missing this whole. Kill set up. That's your play. Ah, there they are. I recommended you and Zoe to the partners against my mentor's wishes because I saw something in you. This is how you repay me. No, I could drag her. Because the partners noticed you, no. you have their trust. Poison chip in your neck, and I'm the one holding the trigger. You? They gave it to you. Ouch. That's gotta sting. I mean, the constant is like the voice of God, right? Only he speaks for the partners. Surely they wouldn't dream of undermining his authority. Only the partners are old school, aren't they? They recognize class, pedigree, birds of a feather, and all that. And you? You reek of middle class. You carry the stink of public transportation. And while you have spent decades climbing the corporate ladder, me and Zoe, we've got ourselves a private elevator and it goes straight to the top. Don't fool yourself, Sophia. They may use you to punish me, but you're a tool, nothing more. And this pathetic ruse only shows me how much you have yet to learn. Man, I was hoping that he would just push her off. I've said my piece. We're done here, boss. All right, so this is the setup. Here we go. Huh? Uh. See you later. <laughs> One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Washington. A remote trigger. Must be a kill switch. All right, at least it worked and I quite this quickly. Would make the it was come quietly. Was super but first things first, 47. Focus on the target. It was super messy, but yeah, this is not my serious run yet, so let's cross this one off the list. Um, engineer kill switch, yeah, so yeah, there was still something, one with toilet cake, cake that was put in a toilet all at the start of the level. I have no idea whether that also hooks into um, a kill opportunity. I'm now, yeah, normally I don't want to look it up, but I've been in this level for so long now. Uh, and there are already two, there are only two kills left that I at least uh, noticed from exploring. 
which I will use uh, during the, uh, the silent assassin attempt for Zoe and Sophie. Sophia. But I'm just before starting that, just want to make sure what that is with that cake. Cake in toilets. Hitman skill cake in toilets. Seconds. Park. Society. Cake. I cannot really find it. We um, quickly online. I don't think it is linked to a kill opportunity. We can always check it out. Um, anywho, let's get. Oh, Mister, you are currently trespassing in a restricted area. You need to follow me right now. No questions, move it. Come on over, dudes. Hey, let's go. I'm not asking you again. Come on over, mister. I already told you to follow me. What's the problem, bozo? Hey, you, are you deaf? Follow me now. All right, why do I see an exit sign? Hey. Let's go. I'm not asking you again. What's up with that exit sign? We still have another target. No ID. Everyone? All right, screw these guys. His AI was just crapping out. Really bad is going down. Be ready. Command. Uh. Command, you copy? Here we go again. Uh, are they both coming in? Fuck, it's so annoying. Read it, five by five. Obviously. So annoying. Oh, wrong disguise. Man, that's pretty damn annoying. Anyways, we are just checking it out. We are not going for the silent session run yet. I will just quickly try and check out that cake situation. Eat this, you bastard! All right, screw this fucking game. Sometimes the, it's all so random, sometimes the Alert phase is quite localized, only one floor or one building. I had that not that long ago in that exact same uh, building. It ah, was only the top floors. Want you join us? Ah, I see someone. Other times hurry. it is just uh, all out craziness. Anyways, before starting the side of the system run. Check out that cake story. It's too weird. Oh, fuck. 
fuck this game, man. Get the fuck out of the way. Quite a night, isn't it? You make it sound simple. You sign on three friends, then they sign on three friends. <laughs> Seems like the easiest thing Here, this is the toilet with cake in it, and there is something with that cake or something. And there's some dialogue going on here. Of people commenting on it. I have no idea anymore Glad where. Not me this year, chasing tokens around like a sucker. I don't know. Looks kind of fun, like Final Club all over again. How does it work? By the way, there was also that closed door. The tokens are hidden throughout the castle, you know. Over like the here, and like where did that? In the uh, in the end, I did find it, but uh, it was a closet yeah with um a performer Rampart? disguise I in it no i remember the polygraph test with the chairwoman if you're deemed worthy you get promoted dark member hmm i could do that each year this is the way i'm going to take out zoe in the silent assassin run each year aspiring arc patrons compete in a treasure hunt to obtain membership status the first of these initiates to collect enough tokens undergoes a private screening interview with Zoe Washington, which involves a polygraph and electroshock device. So I need an um, initiate uniform, which I yeah, assume is one of so these sure. white ones. Depends on your pain threshold, and I guess. And I need to know how many tokens I need to collect. But before doing that, the real final run, I would like to know about this. If you give people a good pitch, the product doesn't even matter. People practically line up to fill their garages with the stuff. You're right. It does sound like for a town. But I don't remember who, which NPCs were talking about it. Shit. I guess you're gonna notice that I'm gonna get my ass fired. Just know it. You're always freaking out. Chill out. Everything will be okay. I don't know if you've noticed, but why is someone always leaving a cake in the bathroom? Here. I know, it's the weirdest thing. Did you tell security about it? Yeah, sure. Everybody freeze. There's a cake in the bathroom and it's really, really pissed off. Seriously, it's like too strange. I mean, so, maybe some I uh, hear you have one of the tokens. Happen. Could I, uh, cake spot? see it? Oh, Just a quick totally makes sense. Yeah. So I'm sure I know what it would have stopped this before. It's been Pretty control. lame initiative. Maybe next time they'll leave flowers and chocolate. Before you know it, we're in a world of trouble. Shut up. Are you going to that staff thing? Maybe. I know Jamie wants me to go. Really? Good for you. He's nice. That boy's been working out. Are you shitting me? He's really needs this job. I'm behind on the rent again. If the VIPs complain about this village, I'm fucked. I'm sure it's fine. They're too busy playing charades. Are you shitting me? He's a total dummy. But I might go anyway. I mean... What the hell, right? Yeah. Alright, so they were talking about this cake. Somebody is leaving cakes here. And yeah, it's so weird. And they said, did you tell security about it? The best part. The second you send so, someone Good evening, sir. Can we converse with them? No. Paul Monroe, the venture capitalist. He looked like a word uh, to you? Uh, right. Well, Evening. Paul's basically a decent guy. He's got honor, integrity, plays fair. When that Haven corporate services scandal broke, he was like the only traitor in New York who came up with All right, so I have no clue what that cake is. Um, what I will do is make it this one a short episode because we will be starting the... Um, Silent Assassin run now, so, and I'm not Silent Assassin anymore, I already got spotted uh, during this episode multiple times. Um, so we will continue in the next episode, and in so, the meantime... So, you like the class? Yeah, I know Heidi Santoro personally. I, I could introduce you, you know, if you give me your token. Better luck next time, initiate. Alright, in the meantime, I will be... Uh, Seriously? One person to complain about this village and we get the food. 
They never really sack anybody. They're afraid people might spill the beans on them. I will uh, check and uh, do a little bit research on that cake uh, thing a little bit more. Let's just see what happens with the fire alarm. I should not I should have pressed it while they were not looking but anyways uh, next episode we will finally start with the uh, silent assassin run so Zoe will be taking out with the um, initiate interview setup and for Sophia we will be dressing up as one of the original council members or something the arc council I don't know one of an oil baron uh, his name was uh, Jeremiah or Jemadiah or something and that actually could involve also a pretty cool kill uh, I don't know I haven't played it yet but we will see uh, with some kind of medieval torture device for Sophia but uh, which she is uh, collecting or uh, interested in so probably we can uh, push her in it or something uh, but that is in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed hope to see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget always to keep on gaming Slater.